<laughs> I'd say my favorite would have to be, I think, just setting achievable goals. Achievable goals? Yeah. So yeah. if you don't think you can do anything, just don't set a goal. <laughs> I don't think no, that's a lesson kidding. taker. That's a Hello everyone and welcome back to Korean Rhapsody Season 2. It's glad to have you all back. I'm your host Justin. And I'm Stephanie. Yes, welcome back Stephanie and everyone joining us today. Thank you so much. We have another fun episode prepared for you all. Yeah. Hope you all ready to have some fun. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to meet the first story of the day. That's right. Which is about the story sender experiencing Korea's amazing safety and security. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Korea is very, you know, very famous for being safe. It's one of the yes, safest countries in the world. Mm -hmm. And I feel like uh, a lot of us take it for granted sometimes. Yeah. But I'm sure it's very surprising for foreigners to come visit Korea on how safe it is, yeah. right? For sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I heard from the 1988 Olympics mm -hmm. that was when there was kind of like a turnover and people really started caring about security mm. and safety in our country. So let's go listen to the story right now. One right. time, I was working at a cafe using my laptop and tablet PC. While I was working, I got a call from my client, and they wanted to see me in a hurry near the cafe, so I ran out right away. I suddenly remembered that I left my precious laptop and tablet while talking to my client on the street. Because of work, I had to finish the conversation before going back to the cafe. I couldn't concentrate on the conversation at all because I was so worried. After the conversation, I ran to the cafe right away. Then I witnessed an amazing situation. My laptop and tablet were right where I left them. In fact, no one seemed to care about my belongings. My stay in Korea was short, but I had an experience that I could never have in my country. That's why I wanted to tell my story to the Korean Rhapsody viewers who are planning to visit Korea that if you are ever concerned about the security, you shouldn't worry. Thank you for listening to my story. And yes, as the story said, Korea is super, super safe. Right. K-Buddy says, K uh, I lost my wallet last week, but I found it five days later thanks to people. <laughs> five days later? That's Thank impressive. It took it five days. After the, like, the first day, I'm done. I have to right, buy a new wallet. You have to kind of give up. To right. apply for new cards. Yeah, cancel your cards. Yeah. Trion <laughs> says, my experience, I forget to close my bag and walk around. Then I just realized at the moment, and my phone is still in my bag, so safe in Korea. Ah, right, so Trion is living in Korea, maybe. Or she visited, visited Korea. Visited, maybe. And just says, I really admire how safe... Uh, Korea is for walking during the night. That's right. It's very true. Yeah. Even women and men and children or like younger students in high school, mm -hmm. you can walk around alone at night around mm -hmm. uh, the streets. Right. But of course, when it's night, you do need to be a little more careful. No yeah, you do have to be conscious. It's not yeah. completely crime yeah. free. Right? But Korea is still one of the safest in the world. So it's a lot safer safest. than you think. You don't yeah. feel like you're in too much of a danger when you're going mm -hmm. back home at night. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That is very true. Can you tell uh, us what the, what the first song is? Yeah, now it's time day? for the first yeah. song. So I based this song on the story that we just heard about safety and how nights are, you know when you think of nighttime, it's a little usually dark. But the title of the song is White Night. So the song itself might not have to do with like bright night lights and stuff, but I thought it's kind of cute because the title is White Night. So yeah, let's listen to the song White Night together right now.
beautiful performance by Tegumi Nuna, as always. She always delivers. Yes, always delivers. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the song along with us. That was White Knight. It's time to introduce the second story of today. Stephanie, can you introduce our second story? Yeah. Do you know the phrase 작심삼일? 작심삼일! <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah? I do know that phrase. What does it uh, mean? It's written on my card here. <laughs> It's when you can't go even three days after you make up your mind. It's a word that refers to a behavior that goes down the drain. Kuji <laughs> buji. Yes. That's <laughs> yeah, totally off my brain, not from the card. Anyways, yes. <laughs> right. It especially applies right now when mm -hmm. everybody's making their New Year's, New Year's resolution. Yep. And maybe you already broke that resolution mm -hmm. since it's been a few days, right? Mm -hmm. So it means that Samir is three days. So it means that your willpower only lasts three days. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> very, very yes. applicable. Yeah. Right? And yeah. Today's um, story is about a sender who is worrying about Takshim right? Samir, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm very curious because it sounds like me. So let's listen to the story about me right now. This year, I'm going to lose weight for next year's summer. Really? You? <laughs> Excuse me, what's that reaction? I mean, your resolution of losing weight never lasts more than a week. Well, that's true. But this time it's different. Didn't you say that you wanted a tablet PC? If I can't lose 6 kilos within 3 months, I'll get you a tablet PC. Oh, are you serious? Alright, well thanks in advance. I'll show you, this time I'm going to really lose weight. Then can I tell our friends that it's different this time? Yeah, sure, as you please. Many months later. And as you can see, I couldn't keep my plan again and my self-esteem dropped. I bought my friend a tablet PC that was way too expensive and I couldn't even buy for myself. I was so upset that I couldn't even sleep that night. So this year, I really want to listen to the advice of more diverse people on how they make their New Year's resolution. What can I do to make my willpower stronger? Is there a way to keep the plan going? Please let me know. Thank you, Justin. You're welcome, amazing, hey, adorable puppet girl. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Because uh, I'm just in. Anyways, yeah, so we had some comments while we were listening, but the story yeah. is very relatable because I'm definitely suffering from Takshim <laughs> Samir. I think everybody Takshim Samir, yes. Takshim. I'd say my favorite would have to be, I think, just setting achievable goals. Achievable goals? Yeah. So yeah. if you don't think you can do anything, just don't set a goal. <laughs> I don't think no, that's I'm just a lesson. That's a joke. So if you, if you feel overwhelmed and you want to make a change, but you uh -huh. feel like you can't do anything, right. make a really small goal. Like, yeah. okay, this week I'm going to. I don't know, sleep 30 minutes less than I did yesterday. That's really easy. Uh, That's very true. doable. Or uh, I'm going to eat uh, one less soda this week. You know, something very small. And then you'll feel happy and then you can get one step up every week. Build and then you'll that. get, yeah, you can right. build from that. The iodine says you need more motivation. It is, if it is something that you really want to achieve, then you can last more than a week mm -hmm. with what you propose to do. Yes. And Jaylene says, I guess you need to set up a uh, specific goal to achieve your plan. Always keep in mind the positive output of your plans. Also, no need to buy other expensive things just to motivate yourself. <laughs> Sometimes pretty expensive things are nice though. It makes you feel happy. I like sparkly things. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the second song for today yes. is a mess. We're sending a message to the storyteller. One of the lyrics in today's song is, no one blames you. You can make mistakes sometimes. It's okay. I'll hug you. And I hope our storyteller doesn't get too sad that he or she broke their resolution. Listen to this song and feel comforted. So today's second song is Breathe by Ihai.
that was a beautiful rendition of Breathe by Yi Hyena. What an amazing song, an amazing performance Always by an amazing Queen performance. TV. Mm -hmm. If you have a story that you'd like to share with us, please keep the stories coming because we love sharing it on air. We share two, two stories every week. And you get a free gift card if you send your stories, so just send it in. Uh, it's the email just below, koreanrhapsody21 at gmail.com. We're always waiting for your stories with open arms. Open arms, yes, so, yeah. So we say goodbye. All right, see you guys next week. All right, bye guys.